Hey there, it's Laura and today I am sharing the next installment of my 100 days of scrapbooking video series. And in this video, I will be sharing layouts 41 through 50 that I created for this project. And if you missed any of the other previous videos from this series, you could check them out on my channel. The first layout that I have is of me and my kitten, and I loved using this really bold floral paper for the background. It's not something that I usually would use as I tend to gravitate towards more neutral or simple background papers. And the way that I made this work for me was using vellum to mat my photo and then also using some white acrylic paint to go behind my title down here. And then for my title, I have this textured polka dot paper that has these fuzzy black dots on it, and I use some dark green hand stitching around each of these letters. And that makes the title pop and also pulls in some of the fun cream colors and green colors throughout the page down onto the title down here. Next, I have this layout of a photo strip of me and my boyfriend after we went to go see a movie. And this was after we went to go see Beauty and the Beast in early 2017. And for this page, I diagonally sliced a piece of patterned paper. And then the technique that I used was to roll this paper back to give it some dimension and texture so it sticks up off of the white cardstock here. And I love that I managed to use both pattern paper and my go-to traditional white background paper for the background of this layout. And then I matted the photo strip on a pink piece of paper and then on a red piece of paper and then I used foam dots to pop that picture up off of the page. And then my journaling I did around the photo strip. For layout 43, I went back and I chose some pictures from my childhood and I decided to scrapbook those. And this is at my third birthday party at my grandmother's house. And I had this really cute paper down here of these little kids in a marching band type of setup with some fun little balloons and party streamers and that sort of thing and I thought that was perfect to document a child's birthday but this paper actually had the pattern down here and then it had the pattern reversed up here and so what I did is I actually cut that paper in half and adhered it to a plain white piece of cardstock and you can't really tell where this piece of cardstock meets the plain white one and I loved doing that because it means that I can use each border from that one 12 by 12 piece of paper twice. So I can make two different layouts or do two different projects with the same piece of paper. And for this, I crumpled up some white paper and used that as my photo mat. And I used a lot of dimensional stickers in this one. So these are puffy stickers that stick up off of the page. This is a dimensional cupcake, another puffy sticker here, and then some chipboard stickers and some thickers. This layout actually has a process video on my YouTube channel, so I would go ahead and link that down below, or you can find it on the scrapbooking playlist on my channel. It is a Christmas layout that I made this past year from a picture from December 2017 and I really love how it looks. I did some hand stitching and a lot of fun little techniques on here that I tried for the first time. The next layout that I did, I wanted to have this kind of sunbeam burst coming from one corner of the page and I believe I scrap lifted this part of the layout, the idea of having the sunburst come from one side of the page and then doing your photos on the other side of the page. But the way that this layout turned out ended up being totally different from the inspiration picture that I was scrap lifting. So I used three pictures of a date I went on with my boyfriend and did my journaling down here. I had lots of little enamel dots and stickers around my photos and I just love the way that this little beam 
ends up looking like coming off of the page there. And then I use different enamel dots and brads to decorate that sunbeam or sunburst. Layout 46 is a picture of me and two of my siblings, and I call them my siblings. I used to be their nanny, and I'm really close to their family, so I have lots of pictures with them. And this is from a trip I took to Arizona to visit them, and we went to the movies one night. So the new technique that I tried for this page, I actually did a black background, and I've never done that before because I tend to like my white and bright space on a photo. So what I did is I took a plain black piece of cardstock and I used some white acrylic paint and a pencil eraser to do little white paint polka dots around this page. And because I still needed a lot of white space in there to make it work for me, I just cut down a piece of white cardstock and I put that in the middle and used some mint hand stitching to embroider around that. And then I have some cute little enamel dots and brads up here with this little airplane because I had to fly to Arizona to see them in this picture. And then it's journaling about how I went to go visit them and we went to the movies that night. And these are pictures from the photo booth at the movies. So I loved having this cute little vintage good times banner here and this chipboard sticker reminds me of those really cool like 50s movie or diner signs and so I thought that was perfect to document a night that we had gone to the movies together. I have this picture of me and I tried a couple of new techniques for this layout. The first one was that I used my lipstick color to decide my color palette for this page and I used a punch to punch out all of these cute little different pattern papers here and I overlapped them and stapled and glued them down to my page in this slightly diagonal pattern here. And then I have my title here that says Bloom and I did again some more phrase and word stickers. These have been one of my favorite embellishments throughout this entire project. And I did a lot of chipboard stickers and puffy stickers here. And I love how this project has helped me to take all of those things out of my scrapbooking stash and actually use them. Layout 48 is another series of pictures from my childhood and these are opening up birthday gifts one year. I use this really cute patterned paper as my background. It's pink and it's got little confettis and dots all over the page. And I use this really cute giraffe ephemera here with some candles and a little party hat here because it was my birthday. and. I loved using this little giraffe here. It has nothing to do with my birthday, but I thought when I paired it with these other embellishments, it made a fun childlike sticker to use on this page. And I did a lot of dimension on this page by using foam dots to raise my candles, this sticker, this giraffe, and my journaling up off of the page. And then I matted these two photos with different papers and these two I just used plain. And then one of the new techniques I did on this page as well was to use multiple photos. On most of my layouts, I just use one or two photos and on this layout, I actually used four different photos. So I loved how I could fit all the photos from that one occasion into this one layout. And I also love documenting these pictures because you can see how happy I look. I just have the biggest grin. I was going through a Pocahontas phase and I had gotten these Pocahontas onesie pajamas and this cool hair twirler thing that put the cool colors and beads in your hair so you could look like Pocahontas. And I was going through a phase and I was really excited with my gifts that year and really excited about my birthday. And I love all the pink on this page. This is layout 49. We are almost to the end of this video. And for this page, I use this really cute patterned paper with hearts on it. And I documented this picture of me and my baby sister. And one of the techniques I used for this page was to actually 
paint on top of my background here behind my photo and that just kind of mutes the patterned paper behind my photo so that there's not a ton of competing stuff right behind my photo and you can see those those hearts look pretty dull compared to these ones over here and I use lots of different little patterned papers here for my photo mat and I absolutely love how this looks. I use this same technique in this layout right here and that is folding down a piece of paper and using my tiny attacher to staple down that corner. And I did that same thing in this photo here and I think it looks so pretty and delicate. And then I have this little title here that says take me away in gold foil and I love this layout and this picture. Another new technique that I did for this layout was that I took a picture from my childhood and I scanned it into my computer and then I edited it in my computer and reprinted it off. And I did that because when I was a kid growing up, all of our pictures came from those instant film cameras, the disposable cameras. Digital cameras weren't readily accessible for an affordable price at that point in time. So all of the pictures are pretty grainy and dark and the colors are off. The disposable cameras just didn't have great quality pictures and so I scanned it into my computer and did all the editing to touch it up as best as I could to make the photo bright so you could actually see our faces and stuff. And that is a technique that I've loved doing to restore some of my old photographs that I really love from my childhood. And layout 50 is another Christmas layout from this year and there is a process video for this layout on my channel as well that I will link down below. And I love this page. The new technique that I did for this page was using glitter on my page. You can see there's glitter here, 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 and in little spots throughout my page I put glitter down on my page. And I really love the little cluster of embellishments here in my journaling and the title and pretty much this part of the page right here is absolute perfection for me and I love how it turned out. So it's exciting to have a process video on that. I hope you have enjoyed this video and seeing the next 10 layouts that I did for the 100 days of scrapbooking challenge. And if you are doing this project in 2018, please let me know down below. I think I am going to do it again this year because I absolutely love how it expanded my creativity and I got so many memories documented doing this project and I love that. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hit that red button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this project and if it's one that you would like to try for yourself. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!